Welcome again to Going for Song, and once again we've got for you not only interesting things, but interesting people. And first of all, we meet a man who says he makes a point of not collecting antiques because he lives in a glass house. Trumpeter extraordinary Humphrey Littleton. Hello. And uh, taking him on, on the other side, is somebody who's interested in Victoriana, Joyce Blair. Good afternoon. And we welcome back on the specialist side here, a man who knows about all sorts of extraordinary things, Roger Warner. Hello. And if he should fail, well, there's Arthur, who has such a wide range of knowledge as well. Arthur Hel Higgins. Hello. So, let's have our first object, please. And now, for viewers at home only, this flintlock pistol, mounted with a silver crown, is a tipstaff. Tipstaffs were used as a symbol of authority to make an arrest. The maker's mark on the silver is that of R and S. Hennel, whose name also appears on the pistol. The silver has the London hallmark for 1814. Good evening and welcome once again to another session of Jukebox Jerry. The jury we have with us this session is a little different this week because we have two pairs, two married couples on our jury. The first two are very famous Danish recording stars whose records are constantly in our hit parade, Nina and Frederick. <laughs> we have uh, another husband and wife team, actor and actress they are called, and they are called by name Jill Ireland and David McCallum. We're getting over the opening, isn't it? Under the first record, then. When I see my baby, what do I see? Oh, a tree, oh, a tree in motion. She doesn't need improvements She's much too nice to rearrange Poetry in motion Dancing close to me A flower of devotion A swaying gracefully Poetry in motion And we leave them up in the air on that one Johnny Tillotson recorded that one Nina, what do you think about it? Well, I must say, I rather like the beginning of it, the, what I call the dirty saxophone. <laughs> and uh, I think it had a very good beat. And um, unfortunately, the lyrics were rather ununderstandable. But um, I, I think it, it had something. I, I would love that a hit. Frederick. Well, returning to the beginning of this song, I hope that uh, his baby has a nicer voice than that saxophone. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think I really like this song very much. I think it was uh, the title promised more than the lyrics gave. Jill Allen, what did you think? Well, I liked the smoky blue beginning. And then I got rather confused because I thought he said, um, she's like a tree in motion. And I couldn't understand <laughs> that at all. But I think it would probably be a hit. He'd been out on manoeuvres, I think. <laughs> David McCallum. I'm afraid it's not my kind of record. Um, 
I like an opening that has a, a form of gimmick, but I agree with um, with Frederick that the saxophone is a little uh, a little harsh, <laughs> shall we say, but not my kind of record. All right. Well, poetry in motion we played by Johnny Tillotson. Do you make it a hit or a miss, Jerry? Uh-huh. Well, they make it undoubtedly a hit. So, on we go to the next one.